method here and it's going to take whatever the whatever was in the first item in the array which is going to be the person's username and it's going to add that to our array list that we have up top remember that we have our array list that was declared up here that's called user list so it's going to take all of those that are in the connect message and it's going to go ahead and add those to that array list all right so once we're done with that we're going to go ahead we have our connect and we also have here we have else if um, if the data equals disconnect well then we're going to remove the the person from that array list so if you look down here user remove all it does is it tells everybody or it tells the person in the client that the person has disconnected and then afterwards it's going to go ahead and kick off another series of events there which are going to regenerate the user list on that right hand side so once again fairly simple and lastly if the contents of the data or if the data type is done then we're actually going to set the user list area once again we're gonna go ahead and we are going to set that to nothing and then we're gonna go ahead and write the users which down here if you go to the write users method which is actually right here then you'll notice that all we're really doing we're taking a temporary string we're gonna convert our user list array list and we're gonna convert it to this string then we're just gonna create a simple loop and just go through each username in the array list and it's just going to basically generate the list that's over here so it's really simple and even though it sounds like it's a lot it actually does it extremely quickly so once again you know and and like I said I taught myself a lot of this stuff and I'm sure that some of you all out there who know a little bit more about programming may know slightly better ways to do this but like I said this definitely does work and you know if you're looking for a simple way to create a chat server client then this is definitely a a quick and pretty easy way to do it uh, so next we're just gonna go ahead like I said those are different types of data and of course we have an exception here I didn't really tell it what to throw in the exception so of course you can always add an exception here you can say that the connection was lost with the server or you can tell it to do that so I mean it's you know there are a few different things that you can fix in a code um, we're gonna go ahead and look at our disconnect button now our disconnect button um, I did a little bit of troubleshooting with this so I created two different methods for it but really um, it's, it's really simple all all the disconnect button does is it kicks off these two different processes right here these two different methods so we have a send disconnect which is basically gonna tell the server hey username plus our divider plus another divider disconnect alright which is the type of data that we're sending back to the server it's gonna go ahead and send that message to the server it's gonna go ahead and flush the writer and it says if it couldn't do it then it's just gonna send you a message in the uh, chat text area that hey uh, you know we couldn't send the disconnect message to the server so really simple stuff then we're gonna actually do the disconnect and this is going to give us a message that it disconnected it's gonna go ahead and close the socket and it's also gonna go ahead and put in our text in our chat text area if there was an error doing this that we failed to disconnect so once again really simple and then at the very end we're gonna go ahead and set is connected to false because of course we're no longer connected and we're gonna set our username field uh, back to editable so that if the person wants to change their username they can and we're gonna change our users list we're gonna go ahead and just clear out everything that was in there so we're gonna go ahead and just clear everything out and that's so that once the person does disconnect they don't end up with still a, a residual list of online users over here because of course no one else is online because they're not online so once again like I said very simple stuff and if we go over here just to our last button we have our send button uh, you'll notice it's just once again fairly simple um, I went ahead and put an if statement here um, we have a string that I declared up here and this is just so that if the person doesn't have anything in this area in this chat text area then the send button isn't gonna do anything 
so it just says if if it equals nothing then just you know once again set the text back to nothing and put the focus back on the input text area all right else all right then we have this other situation of course if there is data in there then we're gonna go ahead and do another try block and we're gonna tell it to go ahead and take the person's username from the client put it into a message with our divider symbol which is our special symbol and then we're gonna take the contents of the input text area put another divider symbol and put the type of data as chat alright and then once we do that we're gonna go ahead and flush the writer and go ahead and send it over to the server and of course if it can't do that then it's gonna say message was not sent and that's gonna be in a chat text area and after of course all of this is done we're gonna go ahead and set the input text area to nothing and we're gonna go ahead and give it the focus again and that's pretty much it here that's kinda like a double I guess that's kinda repetitive here but it still needs to be given a focus back even if it doesn't execute this so I'm not too too worried about this redundant code here and like I said I'm I'm just kinda starting off but like I said it definitely does work and um, that's pretty much our our client here. It's not very complicated, um, but it's uh there are plenty of ways to break it as well, of course. But if you look at it, I really think that you'll enjoy playing with it. I mean, I'm sure that there are more improvements that can be made. And if you all have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. All right. Remember the this code is going to be in a link down below the video. So remember to take a look at it. All right. Peace.